here in San Diego BMW, these two monsters of motorcycles. We got the BMW G310s in stock. Gonna go for a little joyride. Thanks, Alberto here. Have fun. These are gonna be insane. Now be careful because there's a lot of power. A lot of power. You ready for this? A very powerful sewing machine. Wow. What's the horsepower on this thing? 34. 34 whopping horsepowers. Uh, oh my god, this thing is comfy. Dude, it's such a natural seating position. Well, because you're a giant. Of course it's not natural for, for you. Yes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I need to adjust my mirrors. Oh my god. <laughs> I feel like I'm on a Grom. A Grom is a 125. This is a 310. But it does have six gears. It's so light. Oh my god. It's flickable. So I don't know anything about this bike. All I know is it's got what? 35 whopping horsepower? 34 whopping horsepowers. Oh crap. This is regular shift. I keep doing GP shift. Wow. That was fully pinned. <laughs> it does sound good. Oh my god, this thing is actually pretty decently quick. Squishy suspension. Very squishy. Dude, I think I want one of these for town. I think they're like four grand. There's a little single cylinder thumper. 310 cc's of raw German horsepower. I got I was pinned and I got like 64. Oh, brakes are actually not bad. It looks so funny on it. it they're super fun. This is, this is, yeah, it's not that bad sounding. I mean, it's it's not like a standard like 310, like a R, like a R3. Those things sound like just, just it sounds good. <laughs> so the brakes are not as good because they only got the single caliper or single disc and they're what the hell is a bybre b-y-b-r-e and they're bybre brakes but they work Power! it actually gets up there it's not bad it's almost broken in. I'm just helping, you know, go through the gears. Burp. Oh, hello. Oh, I stalled. I can't. You know, it's bad when you are louder in my hair and my ear than the bike is. I can't hear it. I think the only thing I would do to this thing is put an exhaust so I could hear where the RPMs let off. I can't feel the engine, barely. I'm used to my vibration on my 9T. It vibrates once you get up to like RPMs, but when it's idling there, it's kind of smooth. The clutch does let out very far out, but the throttle is responsive. Go for it. This is fun. I do like this bike though. And the suspension is very soft too. It's so squishy. I'm running over all these holes. Yeah, this is perfect for someone like me. I'm 5'8". Okay, 150 pounds maybe on a good day with all my gear on and it's like it's perfect This is perfect for me. It's a perfect amount of power. Maybe not for you The suspension's a little oversprung or unsprung undersprung for you. I just got to get used to the shifting Wait, could you switch this? Yes, you can. Oh, yes. All right. I can get it. I'm so used to GP shift I get so confused when I ride regular motorcycles yeah, lane splitting is super simple. Let's see, so we got a, an actual fuel gauge, clock, odometer, gear indicator, putting a neutral is pretty simple. Got a, uh, what's it called? A, a shift light, top speed. Oh, you got buttons here. Trips, top speed. Did I say top speed? I meant trip. Oh, shit. Range. Oh, it even has a fuel range. 157 miles. Uh, con. Oh, wow. It even has a con consume computer. Yeah, that's the button. It's really hard to see. It's got average speed, the date, 
Odometer. Nice. Hi, puppies. Skirt. Yeah, the brakes work. The brakes definitely work. What's engine? Oh, is that engine temperature? Wow, it even has engine temp. I don't even have that. Does it have ABS? I don't think it has ABS. It does. It does sound good when you wrap it up to like 5,000 RPMs. Oh shit, they do have ABS. Try to lock up the rear. Yeah. Nice. It's actually not a bad bike. It's got the same exact tail section as my 9T. Oh my god, it's so cute. Look at look how small it is. Mm-hmm. They're so cute. Oh my goodness. G310R. I've seen a couple of these turn into cafe racers. They actually look pretty badass. So it does sound like a lawnmower. Or no, a lawnmower is too loud. It kind of sounds like um a sewing machine. But it's like a dual overhead sewing machine. Oh, I'm surprised I stalled again. I can't hear this thing. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at the mirror. <laughs> oh, red light. Dude, this thing is so fast, the mirror is starting to come off. Oh, look at it. I like it. It fits me perfectly. Uh, good amount of power. Brakes work good. Just needs to sound a little better. I don't really have any drawback, except I wouldn't ride it past 75 miles per hour. Because it's, it's pretty vibrating. And it, it feels like it's kind of struggling to go faster. <laughs> I don't know what the top speed is, but it definitely, I, I feel like I don't want to go any faster because it, I feel like it would just vibrate everything off. But around the city is fantastic. It copes with the dips and bumps just perfectly. Only thing I'd replace is the mirrors, of course. Um, the headlight, because it's halogen yellow. And the exhaust. Other than that, I would leave everything just the way it is. What about you? What's your verdict? It's plain and, plain and simple. You had rocket. <laughs> and what are you, like 10 foot 2? 10, 12, okay. Perfect. <laughs> 11 feet, 12 inches. <laughs> it makes good sounds. It makes good noises. It handles well. Yeah. Red light, oh, whoops. I'm fully pinned out. Going 86. 87, 88, 89, 90. <laughs> it will do 90 at least and keep going very slowly, but it will keep going. <laughs> oh my god. Yeah, this bike is fun. They look cool. They kind of look like a little version, like a little S1000R. Kind of, like with the little fairing. Oh, God damn it. 